Today we're looking at the arts of ancient Greece. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer World History. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. The ancient Greeks developed an advanced civilization in southern Europe that lasted for over a thousand years. Dates vary based on different historical records and accounts, but the Greek civilization had a strong influence over the Mediterranean region from around 1200 BC to approximately 130 BC. As their civilization grew and became more advanced, they began to develop amazing works of art and establish the foundations of various fields of study. Obviously, one achievement of the Greek civilization that still influences our world today is their advancements in the area of architecture, or the art of designing and constructing buildings. Greek architects designed buildings to convey a sense of balance and order with very square geometric shapes. Of course, their use of columns in their designs is still echoed today in many structures, in particular government buildings. The Parthenon that sits upon the Acropolis in Athens is considered to be the ideal example of ancient Greek architecture. The Parthenon was built using what is known as Doric-style columns that featured very basic ornamentation or decorations. Other styles of Greek columns included Ionic designs, which featured scroll-shaped decorations at the top, and Corinthian-style columns, which is the most decorative style with intricate carvings at the top. Most Greek columns featured fluted sides, or in other words, the grooves cut along the length of the columns, a style that is still copied to this day. Beyond architecture, the Greeks also made remarkable advancements in the areas of painting and sculpture. Greek sculptors chiseled figures such as famous individuals, athletes, and gods and goddesses from limestone and marble. They moved beyond primitive shapes and representations that other older civilizations had used. Greek sculptors created true likenesses of their subjects with detailed physical features and muscle tone. And speaking of muscle tone, Greek sculptors were obsessed with creating what they considered perfect forms. So most Greek sculptures depict figures in peak physical condition. Most Greek paintings have deteriorated over time, and what remains today are primarily paintings that were done on the side of pottery pieces. Pottery paintings were some of the earliest paintings done by the Greeks, and are similar to other ancient civilizations such as the Egyptians in that they primarily focused on side profiles of their subjects with basic colors and themes. However, as time went on and newer technologies were developed that expanded the available colors and paints available to Greek artists, wall and panel paintings were done that included more depth and detail. The ancient Greeks were also known for their major achievements in the area of literature, with the oldest surviving pieces being the epic poems The Iliad and the Odyssey, written by the Greek poet Homer, written somewhere between 850 to 700 BC. These early works would inspire later generations of Greek writers to write stories and record the history of the civilization. In many cases, these poems and writings would be set to music. Actually, the word music is based on the nine Greek goddesses of the arts called the Muses. The ancient Greeks created music and dance that accompanied almost every facet of life, from religious ceremonies, athletic events, festivals, and even military movements. They designed and built many musical instruments, such as the lyre and the cathara, which were stringed instruments similar to a harp and one could argue were the ancestors to our modern guitars. Music also accompanied another art form developed by the Greeks, drama. The term drama was taken from the Greek word for action. The first plays or dramas were performed as part of religious festivals honoring Greek gods. Greek plays were mostly based on legends or myths, and Greek actors would dress in elaborate costumes and wear masks to depict different emotions or characters while choirs would sing songs or musicians play music to accompany the action. Greek playwrights began to write plays focused on the pain and suffering of the characters. These plays were known as tragedies. However, some Greek plays were focused on humorous topics such as poking fun at Greek gods or making jokes about the aristocrats or politicians of ancient Greece. These plays, of course, were known as comedies. The ancient Greeks' influence on the arts is still felt to this day, as the popularity in modern culture of music, literature, and movies can all trace their origin to the ancient Greeks. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.